Why did the robot go back to robot school? Because her skills were getting rusty. I am a social companion. I can speak of emotions and I can recognize people. I think Britain is brilliant. Splendid architecture, art, technology, and of course the people. Even the, the, the pores on her skin, she looks... Is she soft or is she hard? Number 10. Erika Erika, an impressive creation from the University of Tokyo, represents a significant advancement in humanoid robotics with its realistic female appearance. Developed for human-robot interaction research, Erika embodies the interdisciplinary collaboration of engineering, artificial intelligence, and social sciences to explore the dynamics of communication between humans and robots. The lifelike appearance of Erika contributes to its role as a research tool for investigating social interactions. Its design includes advanced features such as natural language processing, facial expression generation, and gestural capabilities, enabling it to engage with humans in a manner that closely resembles real-life communication. Researchers at the University of Tokyo deploy Erika to study various aspects of human-robot interaction, including verbal and non-verbal communication, emotional responses, and the impact of physical appearance on social dynamics. The goal is to enhance the development of robotics that can seamlessly integrate into human environments, fostering meaningful interactions and potentially addressing societal challenges such as loneliness or the need for personalized assistance. Number 9. Gemini Gemini, a product of Hanson Robotics, represents another foray into humanoid robotics featuring the appearance of a young girl. This lifelike robot is designed with meticulous attention to detail, capturing the nuances of facial expressions and presenting an aesthetically appealing and approachable appearance. Hanson Robotics, known for pushing the boundaries of human-robot interaction, equips Gemini with advanced features, particularly in the realms of facial recognition and expression. While Gemini's applications may span various fields, including customer service, education, or entertainment, its development also raises ethical considerations related to the design of humanoid robots, particularly those resembling young individuals. Striking a balance between technological innovation and societal norms remains a critical aspect in the ongoing evolution of humanoid robotics, and Gemini exemplifies the challenges and potentials associated with creating robots that navigate the delicate terrain of human perception and societal acceptance. Number 8. Nadine Nadine, an impressive creation by Nanyang Technological University in Singapore, stands as a groundbreaking humanoid robot specifically designed to serve as a social companion. Its development represents a significant stride in the quest to integrate robotics into human environments with a focus on social interaction. Nadine is crafted with a realistic appearance, featuring human-like facial features and expressions that contribute to a more relatable and engaging interaction with people. Functioning as a social companion, Nadine is programmed to engage in conversations, recognize individuals, and respond with appropriate gestures and expressions. Its capabilities extend beyond mere functionality, aiming to create an experience that simulates genuine human interaction. This is particularly relevant in scenarios where social companionship or assistance is desired, such as in healthcare, elderly care, or even as a personal assistant. The development of Nadine underscores the interdisciplinary nature of robotics, combining elements of artificial intelligence, engineering, and social sciences. As technology advances, robots like Nadine hold the potential to become integral parts of our daily lives, contributing to social well-being and offering companionship in various contexts. Number 7. Sophia Sophia, created by Hanson Robotics, stands out as a remarkable social humanoid robot, renowned for its striking human-like appearance and expressive capabilities. The robot is equipped with sophisticated artificial intelligence, enabling it to engage in conversations, display a diverse range of facial expressions, and interact with humans in a socially intuitive manner. 
Sophia's design includes cameras in its eyes and facial recognition technology, contributing to its ability to perceive and respond to the surrounding environment. Beyond its technical capabilities, Sophia has gained international attention through appearances in interviews, conferences and events where it showcases its conversational abilities and engages with audiences. This public exposure has positioned Sophia as a cultural and technological phenomenon, sparking discussions about the future of artificial intelligence and the potential integration of humanoid robots into various aspects of society. Number 6. Actroid Series The Actroid Series, developed by Kokoro Company Limited in Japan, represents a notable achievement in the realm of humanoid robotics. These robots are meticulously crafted to replicate human movements and facial expressions, showcasing a level of anthropomorphic sophistication that aims to bridge the gap between machines and humans. The Actroid robots are characterized by their lifelike appearance and the ability to emulate a broad range of human emotions and expressions. This design choice is strategic as it facilitates more natural and intuitive interactions with humans. The Actroid series is often deployed in scenarios where a lifelike and expressive humanoid presence is desired, such as in customer service, entertainment, or research settings. By focusing on mimicking human behaviors, Kokoro Company aims to create robots that not only perform specific tasks but also engage with people on a social and emotional level. This aligns with a broader trend in robotics, emphasizing the importance of social interaction and emotional connection for machines functioning in human-centric environments. Number 5. Kodomoroid Kodomoroid, crafted by National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology in Japan, stands as a humanoid robot engineered with the integration of mimicking the appearance of a young girl. Its creation is rooted in the pursuit of enhancing public engagement through robotics, reflecting the evolving landscape where machines are not only functional tools but also agents capable of interacting with society on a more relatable and approachable level. The design choice for Kodomoroid to resemble a young girl is strategic, aiming to elicit empathy and create a sense of familiarity among people. By adopting a humanoid form and incorporating anthropomorphic features, Kodomoroid contributes to the ongoing exploration of socially interactive robots, pushing the boundaries of technology to create machines that seamlessly integrate into human environments, fostering positive interactions and potentially shaping the future landscape of human-robot relationships. Number 4. Ibuki Ibuki a childlike humanoid robot originating from the University of Tokyo embodies a fusion of cutting-edge robotics and human interaction research. Developed with a focus on personal engagement, Ibuki is designed to interact with people in a manner reminiscent of a child. Its expressive facial features and humanoid form create a captivating and approachable presence, establishing a foundation for more natural and relatable human-robot interactions. The University of Tokyo's development of Ibuki aligns with a broader trend in robotics, emphasizing the importance of creating machines that can seamlessly integrate into human environments. Ibuki's childlike appearance is a deliberate choice to evoke empathy and ease interactions, potentially making it suitable for various applications, including education, companionship, or even therapeutic purposes. The expressive facial features of Ibuki contribute to its ability to convey emotions, enhancing its communicative potential. This focus on emotional expression signifies a step forward in humanoid robotics as researchers explore the nuanced aspects of human-robot interaction beyond mere functionality. Number 3. Actroid Series the Actroid series, a creation of Kokoro Limited Company in Japan, represents a remarkable leap in humanoid robot development. These robots are meticulously crafted to emulate human movements and facial expressions with a high degree of accuracy. Kokoro's Actroid series goes beyond traditional robotics, aiming to create androids that closely resemble and mimic human behavior, fostering a sense of familiarity and comfort. 
Kokoro Company's Actroid series serves as a testament to the evolving landscape of humanoid robotics, where the goal is not just functionality, but also the ability to connect with humans on an emotional and social level. As technology advances, Actroid robots exemplify the potential for androids to play increasingly sophisticated roles in diverse aspects of society. Number 2. Kodomoroid Kodomoroid, a humanoid robot crafted by the National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology in Japan, is engineered as a striking representation of a young girl. Tailored for public engagement, this lifelike robot serves diverse purposes, showcasing advancements in human-robot interaction and technology integration. With its design closely resembling that of a young girl, Kodomoroid aims to captivate and connect with the public in a unique way. AIST's development of Kodomoroid signifies ongoing efforts to create robots that seamlessly integrate into societal settings, demonstrating the potential for machines to play roles in public spaces, museums, and educational institutions. By embodying a youthful figure, Kodomoroid exemplifies the fusion of technology and human-like aesthetics to enhance public interactions and experiences with robotics. Number 1. Petman Petman, the anthropomorphic arm-pumping walker who can step off the treadmill long enough to do some morning push-ups, is a remarkable member of Boston Dynamics' stable of robots. Petman is remarkable in its human-like range of movements, a visually entertaining match for the likes of Big Dog and Cheetah. Visual entertainment, however, is not the top agenda item for Boston Dynamics. With the number of projects that get funding support from the Department of Defense and which deliver functional goals. This time around, Petman is impressing viewers with this month's release video of the latest and greatest performance, dressed in a hazmat suit and gas mask. The Petman robot has funding from the Department of Defense CBD program, which stands for Chemical and Biological Defense. The CBD program was established by the Department of Defense to provide capabilities for the military forces to carry out missions in chemical and biological warfare environments. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.